Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Sagittarius November 11, 2022. Nurturing and building a business project can be fruitful and rewarding now. You might particularly enjoy filling in the details of a plan or developing a talent with a goal in mind. There can be a real sense of excitement and progress, even if it's combined with some uncertainty, related to your business or career goals. As the day advances, a Mercury-Saturn square comes into influence, signaling the need to deal with disapproval or delays. Information that disagrees with you or challenges your take on a situation might surface. With Saturn in your partnership sector, a significant other can seem to block your plans or discourage your thinking. Others seem to shoot down your ideas before they give them a fair chance. While there are usually lessons in such experiences, pulling back from negativity can make sense in some situations. Aim to center yourself and get in touch with what's important to you certain things don't deserve your energy. Ideally, you come up with some refinements, and, as a result, you strengthen your position. Yesterday's lunar eclipse will rock your world for the coming six months. It ignited your solar 10th house of achievements. This will bring your focus to public recognition and how you're presenting your relationship to the world. While this could certainly bring you an opportunity to step further upon the ladder of success, make sure you're not leaving your lover behind. If you are single, this is an excellent time to stand in your glory and try to find a partner in your professional world. The two of you could soon be the talk of the town. What do you need in your work and life balance to be successful? The tug-o-war might be more noticeable than usual when the sun in Scorpio opposes Uranus retrograde in Taurus. Your ambition might be more centralized than you think, especially if you want to focus on your private life more. Home and family might come first, however, you may be radically ambitious in your career path. Forming a unique yet semi-stable structure for you to enjoy your private life and career path is necessary. However, you must be more open-minded to trying something unconventional. At the same time that Jupiter is slowing right down as he moves into his final two weeks in retrograde motion in your financial sector, he is just days away from a friendly aspect to Venus. Kicking the ball off is Venus' friendly aspect to Neptune, also in his final weeks in retrograde motion in your financial sector. As well as fueling your financial confidence this is putting the planets of money, luck and dreams in harmony. Give yourself the space you need from friends and even family this week. There is internal work that needs to get done. Today's aspect will give you the sense of what's present and missing in your life, and facing that information, rather than acting out, will be useful in determining your next steps. Inevitably you will want control over your own health. Take control even during times of frustration. Drink water instead of soda and eat vegetables instead of sugar. If there's been something that you've put off finishing, make this the day you're going to see it through. It's a 10 day, and this can give you added determination complete all those dangling tasks. With someone who is constantly on the go, as is commonplace for you, things can pile up pretty quickly. Make a commitment to get those piles sorted and finished. You'll be surprised at how good it feels to clear your plate for new things. Focus is better, and a greater satisfaction will be felt. As the moon leaves your career sector this might bring the eclipsing full moon here to a close but not the implications. It is just as the moon leaves that a friendly aspect between planets on the income and career fronts peaks while also having given work and job matters a boost. It is not until the fog of war clears that you will have a better sense of what this has triggered, while this has energized planets across the income, work and career fronts that will keep the momentum going. What is important is not to forget the work and life balance reminders this brought. Yesterday it was Venus who reached a point where she was just seven days away from your romantic sector but just a day later, it is Mercury who reaches the same point. At the same time, the planets that rule the heart and mind are also drawing closer in a race to see who can kick off the most romantically charged weeks of the year. Our eyes in the sky. The morning kicks off with an opposition between the sun and Uranus. Early on, 
Use this energy wisely to power through paperwork, homework or any other mental activity you've needed to do, because your energy will decrease in the evening, making you want to just chill and do nothing. You are in a position of great power. Make sure that you are earning the salary you deserve. Your talent and critical eye are worth a great deal. You have a solid reputation. People can count on you. You deserve a wage that reflects this. Even though the rest of the day could feel lazier than usual, the moon moves into Gemini, making it a good time to clean and organize your space. Turn on some happy music and dance your stress away while you declutter. Getting rid of stuff that you don't want or need makes room for new opportunities while also serving to therapeutically release stagnant energies and emotions. It is quite obvious that you need to put in sheer, hard work in order to get what you want. One thing that may not be quite so obvious, however, is faith. Don't forget to have faith that what you are working on will be successful and profitable. Through tension and friction with a friend or loved one today, you are likely to reach a renewed sense of clarity. Through someone else's annoying criticism, light is shed on a difficult situation. Use this newfound clarity in the week ahead. The night blasts in with a lot of energy as Mercury and Saturn square off, so expect a change of heart for the better. This is the mystical CPR needed to get back on track so you can greet tomorrow morning with more energy. Just after midnight, the Scorpio Sun makes its annual opposition to Uranus in Taurus, an aspect that tied into the astrology of yesterday's lunar eclipse. At this time, sudden events prompt grand life changes. It's likely that we will interpret these incidents as threats to our ego and autonomy. This transit intends to disrupt our safety mechanisms so we stop relying on power plays to facilitate our evolution. But in the immediate, unexpected circumstances frustrate us, pitching us into reactive behavior. We assume that by fighting back using manipulation tactics we can assert our dominance and regain control, but this is an exercise in futility. Instead, consider what might happen if you accepted these events as harbingers of personal advancement, cosmic messengers that have come to liberate you from a predictable future. Going with the flow and adapting is better than clinging to a security blanket now. A new dawn is upon you. Light is suddenly being shed on an issue that was previously cast in shadow. Take advantage of this new beginning. You may have to change your position a bit in order to reap the full benefit of this exciting time. Before dawn, the moon sextiles Jupiter in Pisces, engendering emotional harmony. After a turbulent day, we are offered a reprieve. We are reminded that blessings are hidden within the most trying circumstances. On a subtle level, the universe is looking out for us. We can now see the necessity of change and recognize the good to be gained from a mass overhaul. That doesn't mean that we will like it. However, we will accept that we cannot stand still as the world continues to move around us and expect our situation to improve.